it's time to get you caught up to speed on what we've been doing. So, here we go. Go ahead, Jim. Oh, yeah. So this is the, the step-in tub. This is the door for it. Usually it'll just be in the back, so... Uh, but it'll be uh, it'll be sitting there, and we're gonna rig a valve system so that I could have uh, recycle my water in each instance of taking a shower, so that I'm not using a hundred gallons to take a, an hour long shower. I'm using just a recycled ten gallon supply that would just pool in here and and then valve into that, and then uh, and with a filter and be able to continuously take it. That way I still only have to hit uh, the water station once a week. And the plumbing is running for it too. Well, yeah. Holes. Jim added plumbing and it's all underneath there. And uh, and then and what ends up happening is the tub is here and then the toilet uh, ends up going through right here. So it sits here, gives you enough room. I'm going to get a 16-inch uh, counter... Uh, for sink. rectangle sink uh, so that you can sit in there comfortably still so then here's what we're looking at right now that's a beautiful beautiful addition microwave on half on half of its stilts right no. the oven no it's not on stilts anymore. oh it's on the on the full thing yep. oh, there it goes. sink cabinets obviously got to be built there The washer dryer that's is that the final resting place for that yes and then obviously still we have our uh island positioned here and we're going to put the island leaves in this position here This is going to all want to collect and right. escape that away. And then that one little corner will be cut too. Nice. Yeah, that's beautiful because I mean, I don't know if the camera can appreciate it, but I mean, this feels, this, this, is it going to be recessed in that deep? Yeah. So, yeah, so I can come up to here? Yeah, well, the counter, if you look down, straight down where the counter is, the bottom base, the counter is going to actually come out. Um, this is going to be pulled in a little bit more. This is just sitting on this right now. But this is going to, the counter is actually going to go here. So this is going to be pulled out. So I'll still be in here to access right. this. And then the counter That's good. is going to come out, basically come out here and then kind of S curve right here along this edge. Yeah. Yeah, because then you'll have this much counter space all the way up to the fridge, which is roughly about here. So, yeah, this is all the really. What it, what is operational counter? Uh, so that's why this island has become so important because we're really limited on on prep space. And all of the other videos I've watched and other people making conversions or whatever, everyone talks about uh, prep space being a premium. Uh, so I uh, want to learn from their you know advice. Or at least adhere to that. Oh, you'll, so you'll this this will then there. this this is the there's a doggy door in here to lead under the truck because there's a dog run under the truck. Uh, there's the but it's also a fixed seat because here's the front door or the side door. So this is a fixed seat, and then you can pop in the table attachment, which will probably be fitting in here with the with the leaves. Yeah, now you got a tabletop, so. And then you have a leaf that pops in between these two. And then when I have a table, there's another leaf that pops in over here. So, uh, because, as you can see, the space, the more uh, appliances that we're putting in, the smaller the space is getting. It's shrinking. And I, I was just telling Jim earlier, once that bed platform, which is the entire width of the truck, 
and comes out six feet. Once that's in there, and that only comes out to here, it's only a fridge that's left. We're bifurcating this entire space uh, with that bed. Because we're only at 14 feet anyway. So it's, it's shrinking. It's, you can definitely feel that it's going to be, when we're done, it's going to be tight. But I love, I love the fact that we have the full-size double sink. I think that's going to make me happy long term. Just tr I'm trying to make it important to learn from all of the other conversions and what they say they, they wish they would have done differently. And that's, that's the theme for me is who's saying what they wish they would have done differently? Was there something else that you were going to show me? No, that was it. All right. Cool. Thanks for checking out our update.